Hey everyone, welcome back to The Silver Lining here on YouTube, or welcome if you're new. I'm Sarah, and today I am going to begin my 40 bags and 40 days journey as we go through Lent. The 40 bags and 40 days challenge does not need to be done during the 40 days and 40 nights of Lent. It was just started that way. I have some information on that on my blog post, so I'll have that linked below if you're interested. This is my third year participating in the 40 bags and 40 days challenge. And every year I think, how am I gonna get 40 bags? And every year I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Decluttering has become a way of life for me. So anytime I notice that a space seems not being picked up the way that it needs to, or things don't have a home, then I notice that that particular area or space needs to be decluttered. Sometimes it takes five minutes. Sometimes I leave it and leave it, which you'll see in one of my videos whenever I declutter my hall closet sort of like my Monica's closet. <laughs> it has grown and grown into this massive amount of stuff. It's one of the things that I am looking forward to the least, but thinking about the most as I begin this journey. So if you are interested or you are also participating in the 40 bags in 40 days, then hit that like button. Be sure and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. And I hope that this offers some decluttering and cleaning motivation for you. As I mentioned, I made a blog post on the 40 bags in 40 days challenge. And on that post, there is a picture that you can print out. So it's a picture that I found on Pinterest. I just created it so that it has 40 bags. And a bag does not have to be a bag. It can be one large item. It can be a box. It can be a trash bag size or a grocery bag size. It can also be something that you're carrying around as a mental load. It can also be something that's virtual. Maybe you have 200 emails in your inbox that really needs to be gone through. All those things that are really weighing us down, whether emotionally or their physical items, we need to get them out of our lives. Whatever it is to you, no one is gonna come and check to make sure that you got rid of 40 bags. So as I said, I've done this a couple of years now and something that I did last year that really worked for me was I created a list and I got the idea from Sophia off of her channel, My Great Challenge, and also my friend Natasha from her channel, Around My Home. They both participated in what they called DOC, Declutter, organize and clean. And so I made a list last year using that as a guide. And this year I went through again and made a list as well. So what I do is walk around my house and go into rooms and pick out different areas that I feel need to be decluttered. In the master bedroom, it might be the top of the closet or under the bed or the drawers or the closet. And I try to keep it into smaller chunks so that I know that it won't take a ton of time. As with any decluttering project, there are definitely some other areas that I know will take longer. And maybe we wait and do those on a weekend or on an evening where we don't have any running to do. No matter what, my goal is to get 40 bags in 40 days out of my house and off of my mental load. Some other things that have helped me during my decluttering process is watching people like Dawn from The Minimal Mom. She always has great ideas on decluttering and she talks about the mental load and she talks about our inventory. When our inventory becomes something that we can no longer keep up with, then it's time to get rid of some. Another process that I have tried before that worked, which is a little bit more time consuming, is I followed the book Organized Simplicity, which is a 10 day decluttering process I have referenced back to that during my 40 bags in 40 days challenge because it gives me some reference points and it also maps out what to clean, how to clean it, where to start. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, there are several references that you can look back on and I'll link a lot of those below. So comment below if you're participating 
If you don't follow me over on Instagram, be sure and do that. I would love to have you commenting on some of my posts there and we can keep each other accountable. Like I said, check back here. I'm going to try to get weekly videos up so that you have decluttering inspiration and motivation. Thank you so much for being here today and watching. Good luck on your challenge and I'll see you on the other side of it. Bye.